When Strong Women Cry, a book written by Ohineire Guilty Auntie, is the sixth of the series of books she has authored to empower emotionally distressed women. Her latest, Why Strong Women Cry, reiterates her resolve to give voice to women in society. Launching the book, a Ghanaian academic and writer, Professor Esi Sadland Adi, admonished key social players to take a cue from the issues raised in the book and institute good social policies in return. I also believe that this book has many issues that could be debated. And I would want to invite prayer groups and uh, women's groups and so on to sit down and talk about these things, about the kind of betrayals and so on that happen. Let us spend some time in our organized groups with this book to get us going as far as that sort of thing is concerned. There are many topics that we shy away from, and I wonder. For example, I was wondering if a group of pastors would have the courage to sit down and ask themselves whether they could be better partners, given some of the revelations in this book. I was wondering whether we as parents and as society leaders should admit that we are inculcating in our children the canker which makes them judgmental instead of being supportive, which makes them cruel, which makes them lack empathy. This is found across the world, but could we look at it and see what we can do about it? Ohineri Gifti Anti at the launch highlighted the thought processes and rationale that went into the writing of the book. Well, this book is um, basically to let women know that you can turn your adversity into an advantage for the greater good. The process is difficult. It's painful. But when you stay the course, when you stay focused, when you trust God, when you have people you can, you can um, trust and share with, you will overcome. You don't only overcome when everything is okay. Like the wounded healer, they say you break through the glass ceiling. When you break through the glass ceiling, it's possible you get hurt, but you shouldn't let it stop you. Crying is not a weakness. Most of the time, strong people feel that, and indeed, people will say, ah, you're too known, you too, you cry. You say you're a strong woman, why are you crying? So people are afraid to let people know that they cry, to let people know that they are going through challenges. But then there's no shame in that. And you should know that it is not just you. Crying even makes you stronger. It doesn't make you weak. Thank you.